Hi there, I'm Daniel from Sussex Camper Vans and this is a video tour of our Nissan NV200 camper car. I've got a couple to show you here and this is a petrol automatic and this delightful Cayman blue one, this is a diesel six-speed manual. The camper car is about 4.4 meters long, it's about 1.9 meters high. Uh, and if you were to go out and look at your car, I think you'd find this is probably not any bigger. And that means if you can drive your car, you can certainly drive one of these. Now, reducing height is really important, of course, to reduce wind resistance, to improve fuel economy, and to get into more car parks. And so the camper car has a pop-top elevating roof. And this system we've devised ourselves is so easy to operate. All you do is undo these two catches, and the roof pushes up away from you. We've got mesh windows at the sides which you can unzip, which let plenty of air through for ventilation and clearing any cooking smells, and a PVC window at the front, so if it's raining you can still have some daylight. So there's two seats in the front for travel and two in the rear, so you can take four people with proper belted seats. We've squeezed a proper little kitchen in here. We've got a sink with running water on an electric pump. We've got a two burner gas hob with electronic ignition. We've got a space for cutlery in here proper 50 litre compressor based fridge like you'd have at home. Oh look, someone's left some champagne in it. Ice box in the top for chalk ice and ice cubes. And you know, you can get a four pint bottle of milk in the door, which to me is really important. Got some more kitchen storage here. And a handy cupboard, you can see how much water you've got. And you've also got lots of room for pots and pans behind. We've made room under the seat for a chemical toilet to slide out. There's some clothing storage in this roller cabinet as well and there's some more clothing storage at the rear. This controls the LPG gas, and you can see on the little gauge just how much you've got. You turn on and off by pressing the button, and that turns a solenoid on the bottle on and off, so you've never got to ferret around and fiddle with turning knobs on and off. These controls control the thermostatic gas heating. If I had to click this knob up here, the heater will surge into action uh, and the temperature set here will maintain the vehicle at however warm or cool I want it to be. All the lighting switched on here as well. We've got two 2.1 amp USB charging ports here. Uh, high current so they charge nice and quickly and we've also got an old school cigarette lighter port as well if you've got something with one of those plugs on. If that's not enough there's a, a duplicate of this little panel on the other side of the vehicle as well. There's a double power socket up here which is ideal for a kettle or a toaster when you're on site hookup. And there's another one on the other side to my left as well. Come the night time, it's really easy and quick to put the camper car into night mode. Hop up and push this lever here across, just like this. Push that away from you. The bed slides straight down and you're ready for the night. It really is that easy. In the morning, it's just as easy. Just pull the back piece towards you, push the seat rest away, and there we are. We're ready to drive off. The table's really easy to use as well. It simply unplugs, the leg mechanism twists out, and it stows in the back. There's lots more storage around at the back here as well. There's a handy space here where you can sit and have a sandwich or put on your wellies. And it's also the place most people roll up their duvet and things and store them during the day. There's a handy oddments box here for camping bits and jumpers. There's a big space here, almost like a boot, under the back seat. And there's a handy trap door in the boot space as well. You can open this up and open the front door up and slide really long things like skis right through the vehicle. There's a good sized cupboard around the back here as well. Uh, there's some shelving, there's the electrical consumer unit with the trip switches and the leisure batteries stored here too. Now, one thing I was really keen to achieve in designing the Camper Car SX was to get away from having loose gas bottles that you have to connect yourself and strap down you're never quite sure how much gas is left, are you? And they take up a cupboard as well. So, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this vehicle has got an integral gas system. We've built the LPG tank into the vehicle, just like the fuel tank underneath. And that means you fill it up in a filling station, just like the fuel, instead of needing to keep swapping bottles over. Simply pull this cover off, connect the LPG connector onto here, press the button on the pump, and it recharges your system within a few seconds. And the gauge inside the vehicle lets you know how much LPG you've got left, so you never need fear running out. Now, another benefit of this is we're including on every vehicle a gas barbecue point here. Under this little red cover, 
is a socket where you can plug in a gas barbecue and so you can be cooking al fresco without needing to take any extra gas bottles. I've just hopped in this other camper car to show you a different style and some different colours. Um, you know, one thing we love to do at Sussex Camper Vans is to make something just how you want it. We've got our own soft furnishings department where we do sewing, upholstery and trimming, and we've got our own hard furnishings department where we design and make all our own furniture on site. So if you've got something particular in mind, I'd like to think we could do it. So that's the camper car, a holiday vehicle and a daily driver all in one. I'd love to show you one in person. Why don't you come and see us at Sussex Camper Vans? Give us a call on 01403 336369 and come on down and see us in Horsham uh, in the middle of the woods. Uh, it'd be lovely to have you. You can have a sit in one or two of these, have a drive, we're insured for you. Come and have a nice cappuccino or a cup of tea. Come and have a bit of a chat and see how a camper car might just be the next vehicle for you and your family. Thank you.